Welcome to Gifted Guitars. My name is Chris Ballinger. Typically on this channel, what I do is build a guitar for a specific individual, someone that's a friend of mine or a family member, and I build a guitar specifically for them and then give it to them at the end. Lately though, I've been building guitars more for a general cause. Uh, the last two guitars have been mainly COVID-19 related and uh, for relief on that. And if you wanna go back and check out those builds, there's links that you can go to to donate, to get more informed, and get involved in helping the people that have been affected by that. I'm shifting gears with this guitar. This one is specifically for the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm gonna be featuring different organizations that help with social injustices. I have some extensive carving plans for this particular guitar, so the first step is to really plan things out, and that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, this is a Telecaster style guitar. This is the body shape. And what I'd like to do is carve this symbol into the guitar. The actual image that I am carving in here, I want to be stark, bold, there it is. Uh, you can't ignore it. And then the rest of the guitar around that, I want to look like it's been chiseled but not finished yet, not smooth and pristine. That's to sort of represent the work that needs to be done still. And that it's something that we need to keep fighting for and keep uh, working on as a country. So uh, that's sort of the idea behind this. Hopefully I can pull it off. Since I'm going to be carving this, I'm gonna need to know where all the hardware goes so that it sits flush on it and I don't carve into that area at all. So we're gonna break into this bag right here and trace everything out. All right, uh, so at this point, we've got the basics roughed out on here. I think I need to go at least twice as deep with all the engraving, but I like the direction that it's headed in. It's kind of hard to see with this lighting, but we have sort of like pretend binding, like <laughs> part of the guitar is like this binding. And then uh, then we have the the actual emblem right here. And I put it at sort of a, an angle. That way when you're playing the guitar, it kind of sits like this. Then it'll be in the right position when you're playing. So I kind of left it at that angle there. Yeah, somebody asked me recently on one of these guitar builds to put like a running counter or like say how long each thing takes me. I've been out here for hours, but um, 
I don't know exactly how many hours. I saw something when I was a little kid. I think I was at my grandma's house and she was watching some television show where this really old guy was saying what the keys to happiness were. And I don't know that he really knew what the keys to happiness were, but one of the things he said was, uh, he was a painter and he said, to get lost in what you're doing and not know time. Get rid of time completely. And uh, that resonated with me, I guess. Like, I, I definitely remember being like Parker's age, my, my seven-year-old son, and seeing that and going, oh, okay, yeah, I could do that. And I've done it ever since, and I think it frustrates a lot of people around me because <laughs> I have no idea what time it is, and then when I realize what time it is, it's like midnight, and um, I need to stop. And I think I'm at one of those points right now. It's, uh, it's pretty late at night, and I've been working on this for a while, and I'm gonna stop right here, go inside, sleep, and I'll come back out tomorrow and do some more carving to it. All right, it's the next day, and I am well rested. It's time to start carving back into this thing. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere with this. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. There we go. So uh, you can see I kind of have this rough, scraped in sort of texture look throughout the entire guitar. And then the places where there's gonna be like pick guard and the metal pieces, I left blank so that those will stay flush onto the guitar. And then this is nice and flat as well as the edge of the guitar here. One thing that guitar manufacturers do a lot of is uh, they will join pieces of wood together to make the body, to get a piece of wood that is structurally sound, this big, made of nice wood, is, is pretty hard to do with just one piece. So they'll glue several pieces of wood together to make the body. And on this one you can see here's a joint here. So that's one piece of wood, two, uh, I would say, maybe three here and four. This is possibly five. It's four or five pieces of wood put together. The problem with that is that the wood is has different like density, different grain to it. So for example, when I was carving into this area, this strip of the guitar here, it was like butter. It was just super easy, very, very nice carving material. But then I would get up to here and it would just shred. <laughs> and splinter. So I have a whole lot of sanding that I have to do on this to make it feel right. But I really like the look of it. I think that it's coming along really nicely. And I've got a couple new tools to help me out with the sanding. Uh, one is this sanding swab. This was recommended to me by somebody in the comment section. I read all the comments on this channel, so uh, if you have something to say to me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. But this here is a cool device. It has 120 grit sanding surface here, 180 grit, so a little finer up here, and it's gonna allow me to get into some tighter spaces. It's really gonna help me, I think, a lot with all those divots that I put in. And then I also got this. I built something kind of like this to help me sand when I was building my last guitar, but it is a, a like a little sanding pencil almost. So it's time for my least favorite part of guitar building, which is sanding.
Okay, this is all sanded down now. Uh, it feels really good. Uh, it's kind of still kind of hard to see. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's looking good. I think it's going to look even cooler once I get the paint onto it. Uh, the guitar lacquer is really going to do something neat to this. And on the back of the guitar, I have uh, an idea for something to do on the back. So this will be another double-sided uh, piece. So the next step is to hit it with some sanding sealer. And uh, let's see if that makes the grain pop a little bit more. Sorry about the cricket sound. I, I have a little co-star in the garage with me right now. But uh, this is starting to look really nice. I'm going to take the handle off of this for now. And I actually, I, I wanted to see what the guitar sort of looked like as a complete unit. Um, I haven't carved the headstock on this yet, but I did want to put the neck on, put uh, some of the hardware on just to make sure that the carving makes sense with everything else and that I don't need to go deeper or do anything else before I move on to the next part of the build. So uh, right now I'm going to put the whole guitar together and take a look at it. Now, this is really just to get a feel for the guitar, so I'm not going to put the whole thing together. I'm only going to put one or two screws into each element just to hold it into place to check it out. So this isn't like a complete build. I'm not even going to put the pickups in. Just, just to check out how the guitar feels as a, as a complete unit. So this is the pick guard that came with this guitar and it goes in here just like this. The paint that I'm going to put on this is going to be black along the outer rim here, black on the fist symbol here, and then uh, either like a natural or a white or a yellow filling in all of this area here. But I kind of felt with the black that's going to be around the outside here and here that this pick guard shouldn't be white. So I ordered another pick guard here and I haven't seen this yet, but I thought this might be a good opportunity to see if it fits. Woo, that was close. I wasn't expecting this, but this is actually a three layer pick guard with a little white in the middle, which I think looks really cool. I really hope this fits. It feels really good quality too. So um, much better than this. This is a single piece of uh, plastic and this is three pieces of plastic bound together. So hopefully, oh yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit the neck of the guitar. So there's that. <laughs> I would need to do some routing in order to get this to work. Let's see. Yeah, specifically the neck pocket here. It sticks out just a little bit. Um, that's something that I can do. All the holes seem to line up pretty well. Yeah, it really only seems like this neck pocket just needs to be carved out a little bit. I can do that uh, in a later episode of this, uh, of this guitar build. But I think if I do that, this is gonna fit in there really nicely. And uh, this looks way cooler to me than the white one did. So I think, especially with the paint that I have planned on here, I'm gonna end up going with this pick guard, but I'm gonna need to do a little bit of machining in order to get this to fit in correctly. But all that being said, I think that this is pretty cool. I'm really excited to start working on the headstock of this and to do the painting and staining and lacquer work as well as all the wiring. It looks like this one wasn't wired as much as the last Telecaster I did, so I get to do more soldering. It's a little bit more complicated of a build, which I'm up for. I'm, I'm excited to, to work on it. But I really do think that the carving on this looks really cool and I love what it stands for. So I'm, I'm really excited about this guitar. This might actually be, so far, uh, my favorite guitar that I've built. I'm not sure, but I feel like so far, 
just the look of it, like this is a guitar that I would would want. But that's not what I do here on this channel. I build guitars for other people. So um, this guitar and then these other two guitars here, uh, the New York one and the Bob Ross one, they're all gonna get auctioned at some point in order to raise money for various things. And this guitar in particular is, uh, I'm raising money for the NAACP as well as the Black Lives Matter movement, both of which have links in the description below. I'll be including other links as well to things that I think are important uh, for this cause. Police brutality and systemic racism is a real issue in this country. I'm not gonna stay silent about it anymore. I want to get more informed. I would like to get more involved. I really hope that you check out the links in the description so that you can do the same. I hope this video has entertained you and that you've enjoyed the building process of this, but I also really hope that you get involved. So please check out the links in the description box. My name is Chris Ballinger. This is Gifted Guitars. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.